what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of multiplayer issue you're currently having with titanfall 2 so stick to the end guys this will be step by step tutorial in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that, that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to type in on your keyboard or click on your keyboard Windows key and R key at the same time. You should be able to see this tab popping up afterwards type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, this tab will pop up and I want you to type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Once it is successfully flushed, simply end this task and navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating to network and internet and clicking onto network and sharing center. What I want you to do here is going to be to click into troubleshoot problems. You're going to use Windows in order to find any kind of issue. If nothing pops up, simply click on to change adapter settings to the second link. And what I want you to do is going to be to click on the first one where it says Ethernet or Internet. Right click, disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center by just simply ending this task. Next step is going to be to click under the blueprint the text where it says Ethernet or Internet. Click under Properties. Double click Internet Protocol version 4. And enable use the following DNS server addresses. On a preferred DNS server, type in a Google DNS server address by just simply Googling it what it is. Or 4 times 8 on the alternate DNS server again, Google it. Or 2 times 4 or 2 times 8. Afterwards, hit Apply and OK. That's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you. I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.